Alright, what's up guys? Welcome to the video. Going to be doing a little bit of glass etching on the van today. Um, a few things you'll need. Obviously, first off is an etcher of some sort. This is mine. Uh, just drill master from Harbor Freight. I think it was like eight bucks or so. Uh, and this right here is just masking tape. It's like big, big tape. Uh, I like to use white, but really any solid color on the other side of the glass, that usually uh, helps me. So I like to lay down one solid color. After that, you get you a Sharpie of some sort. You can write on there. You'll need a little bit of alcohol, that way if you mess up, or even when you get done with the artwork, after you get done etching, to wipe it off. So just a few things you'll need, not too many tools. Uh, if you just have a little bit of patience, a good imagination, uh, you can do it too. Also another quick thing to mention, um, some artists it might not bother them, but it does bother me. My van has a significant amount of rake on it. I've got the jack and some stands under it right now, but I've just leveled it out. So that way when I'm drawing on it, I'm not drawing on the vehicle that's slanted and drawing straight on it. I'm drawing with the body lines that are straight. So Okay, so I got my design laid out, all that good stuff. But as you can see, it's a lot of lines going on, uh, a lot of foreground and background. So when you're etching and what I've done and made a few mistakes before is I've gone through a line that I wasn't supposed to. So basically I've made a background line, a foreground line and didn't really mess it up, but it was one of those things I had to kind of work around it. So. What I like to do when I go back, just get all your lines out how you want it and mapped out. But like uh, here on this flame line, this flame is going to be coming from behind the sword, wrapping back over top of it and then out. But I've got the sword lines going through there. So just to remind me what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a little bit of alcohol, go back and erase those lines inside the sword or inside the flame rather right there that way because I'm one to get confused ahead of myself and uh, a little too ambitious and not think I have to go back to here and touch these lines up just a little bit but that's just another way to think ahead and go okay when I come to this intersection of lines I know not to go into this negative space because that's going to bring the background to the foreground so just some little things you could do to separate help you remember and if you're someone like me that gets a little uh gets a little rowdy and excited when the piece starts coming together you know hey slow down take your time by the way with glass etching uh everything you do turns white so all these lines that are black right now they are gonna be white when it's done, obviously. So what I do too, like let's say this is a uh, reflection on the sword, right? Like just the sunbeam on the sword. What I'll do is I'll just go ahead and paint all this black. That way I know, hey, fill that in, make that nice bright white light highlight. And uh, again, just another way to separate it, keep it all straight. All right, we got everything mapped out here. But before we get started, one thing I actually forgot to mention at the beginning of the video, you're probably going to want to wear a mask, bandana, or something because uh, when you're doing this, a lot of glass, like particles and things are flying off or in the air. You don't want to be breathing that stuff, so a little protection goes a long way. But uh, with that being said, about to get into it, got a little castle up here, some birds, the reaper, sword on fire. All that good stuff, all the fantasy cool uh, 70s van stuff, I think. So, I'm gonna get into it and see what happens, I guess. <laughs>
All right, so first round of etching is done. I'm gonna wipe away some of the dust and things and get them off first. But uh, did a little bit of shading and a few other things, but gonna wipe it away. And I can assure you that there's gonna be some places that I missed because I have never hit all my lines and done everything. So we're just gonna erase all the black lines, see what I have to go back, touch up and uh, go from there. But yeah, this is basically uh, just the outlining process. I'll go back and shade it after we get all of this off. So we're gonna see a little bit of alcohol, get all that away. I wanted to fill in that reflective piece on the sword here, but I'm gonna save that for a Dremel tool. I'm gonna start doing that because this is more fine line work. So I will hit that in another time, but it looks like I've gotten everything I needed to hit so far. Let's see. I added some extra little tails and whips to the flames to give them a little more character. And uh, I've got some similar flames like that on the windshield. So it'll match the uh, flame theme, I guess. The Reaper came out pretty good. That's been a, a steady theme in the van. Just, I don't know. Uh, every time I get the opportunity, I just put another one on it. So that's what wound up on it again. I think this is some extra pinstriping tape or pinstriping paint right here. So I'll try to get that off later. That's on the inside. But anyway, all my Sharpie lines are gone. All you'll see now is the etched piece. And it's funny when glass etchings get wet, they kind of fade. So you got to dry them. That way you can see them again. All right, gonna peel away this tape from behind here. So now our black lines are gone, and as I mentioned, and. Uh, with no lights in the van, it's pretty dark back there. So now we can see all our all our white lines. Like right here, I need to finish the uh, rest of his cloak. Kind of bring that down. Castle came out pretty cool. So I'm just gonna keep touching this up. And you'll see me do that right now. Okay, so there is the piece. It's kind of hard to not get reflections and things like that in it. But pretty happy with how it came out, but definitely not done with it. Um, as I mentioned, I'm gonna get a Dremel tool with the carbide bits and the diamond bits for glass and stuff. So I wanna hit all my pieces on the van. Uh, as you can see, this whole side is glass. I got some stuff on the windshield and uh, some stuff on the driver's glass as well. But eventually gonna get the Dremel tool, finish up this piece, add on to the other pieces I got, get them all matching, just to help separate highlights, shadows, and things like that. I feel like this sword, something needs to happen with either these flames or this sword. This sword either needs to get lighter or the flames need to get lighter or something, but it needs some uh, more substance to it than just the line work, so. But yeah, that's where it is right now. Like I said, pretty happy with it. Got other plans to fill in this window and make it all, I guess, a story or just to tie all the glass together, wrapping around the windshield, but. All right. 
right guys what's going on little update on the uh, glass etching probably saw me earlier in the video doing um, like my solid lines or outlines on it finally got me a Dremel tool and got all the right uh, bits to etch the glass did a little work on this piece touched up a couple others but we're gonna get into now doing all these older pieces that I've got and even touching up on the windshield and maybe even adding some more to it so uh, yeah, we're just gonna get right back into it and keep on working on it. So not too big of a change, but uh, it just matches some of the consistency now with those shading lines and everything. Just made it a, uh, a little softer and just broke up these, this. Uh, it just makes that section where it goes from dark to light and all your highlights and everything. Just, I don't know, just makes it look so much better. So just gonna keep on trucking. Alright guys, there you have it. Uh, Boogie Van glass etching video has come to an end. If y'all enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, leave a comment, let me know what you want to see next. Um, unfortunately, the day has kind of come to an end here. I'm running out of time, but you will see me adding some more stuff to this. Definitely on the windshield. Got two black glass pieces I'm debating on doing, um, but I'm planning on doing a lot more on the side glass too. So. I don't know. Uh, let me know what y'all want to see. If y'all have any suggestions on what I could put on here, what would go with it. But uh, yeah, I hope y'all, I guess, learned a little something. And uh, I don't know, I learned a lot. The Dremel tool was, uh, um, it was a learning curve at first. I got me a practice piece from the, uh, I guess, the scrap pile of van parts we have. And just did a whole bunch of doodling and practicing on it. And I got confident enough to feel like I could tackle this thing. So. I don't know. Hope to get better at it. Hope to do more. But uh, yeah, y'all will see all that in another video. Thank y'all so much, and we'll see you again.